Jim, I'm, I'm fascinated by your automation here at Kelly Precision in Ireland. Uh, in fact, well worth the journey here today. Um, sure. To me, there's a few things about automation which often uh, are barriers to entry, like for example, price, uh, maybe the, the, the programming, the integration of it all. Just tell us a little bit about what we've got here behind us from Leadwell that you've installed. Well, these are our latest purchase from Leadwell, two V20 IT five axis machining centers. To come from Leadwell with, with 40 tools, we need, a, we need a lot of tools for these jobs because they're very um, intricate and they take up a lot of tools. So 40 tools in the tool changer and five axis. And we have installed them in the last month or six weeks. And now we have robot working on one of them. And this robot here is on test at the moment before we put into production in a day or two's time. Okay, let, let's go right to the, the nuts and bolts of this. Um, the machine itself from Leadwell Hill, a five axis machine, I know they sell a lot of these, very popular, the 20 IT, small compact machines, but also relatively, uh, well, very competitively priced, low cost, aren't they, about 100K for the machine? About, about 94,000 pounds, 100,000 yeah. euro in our money. Okay, and, and then the automation that goes with this. So you've got the machine cost, uh, say, around 100,000, then plus the automation. All told, what is this system setup going to cost you? You're looking at about 150,000 pounds sterling for the, for the complete package. So then you have a whole cell, a yep. totally automated cell, which you can run, what, 23, 24 hours a day? 23, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, we have our operatives come in on a Sunday, a Saturday morning, a Sunday for an hour or two. It takes about an hour, an hour and a half to load it up and get it going again and runs all day and runs all night, lights out as well. So, Because I'm kind of doing the math here. You, there's lots of five axis machines on the market that might cost you that amount, but you don't get the automation with it. So with you here, for that spend, you've essentially got a complete cell where you don't need an operator and you can just keep feeding and feeding the machine. Correct. Um, we can. It, it's very competitive. It makes us very competitive and makes us very... Um, um, able to go out to the marketplace and sell ourselves as competitive uh, uh, machine shop. What, what about integrating it all though, getting it all working? I noticed earlier you were walking around with a pendant, checking that the, it was dropping the billet in the right place. Is that simple? It's pretty simple actually. It looks much more complicated than it is, but we've, gone very, we've got very good at it now. We have uh, 28 robots in the company at the moment uh, and um, we've got quite good at it and we don't even notice this anymore, you know. So what do you have to rely on from the machine tool? I know it's got to be a reliable machine when it's machining, and I'm sure these are. Yes. But what about the outputs? Is there anything that, that lead precision needs to supply you with on the machine in order for you to get the robot working successfully? When I order the machine from Leadwell, I um, specify certain, certain things on it, like inputs and outputs and so forth, that, that can talk to the robot and back and forward. And they will do all that for me in the factory so that when it lands here on my floor they will have have everything ready for me to put a robot onto it and do you do that yourself here now then do you buy the robot from abb the machines from Levwell, and you are the you are the the part that interfaces it all together yes we do everything in-house ourselves uh, we have some quite good guys here we, we do all the fabrication all, all the electrical in inter integration and make up guarding all ourselves, so we're completely self-sufficient in, 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 in this regard, and we're not depending on outside uh, sources to, to help us. So quite low cost, as we've touched on, easy to set up and get and get going. Also, the footprint you need outside of the machine tool isn't quite isn't that big, is it? You don't need much more space. No, it's it's the machine itself, whereas it can do very good work and it's perfect, perfectly sized for us. And with the robot on it, it doesn't take up a lot of room, which is a huge issue at the moment, as you know footprint of machines and space and factories and whatever is, is a huge issue and these are quite compact uh, little cells and work brilliantly for us. Well, what, what we've really identified here as well is that maybe you don't need, if you make this machine really efficient, you don't need to buy a second one, do you? Or you don't need two spindles because this one is running at 98% efficiency or what have you. That's the advantage of having the automation. Yes, um, we, we, we were just looking at before you arrived. We were looking at we have an efficiency report that we get every day from a, from our system, and robot cells work 90 percent, 92 percent, 98 percent efficient per, per day. Okay, so what about the Lebwell machine here? Then you're, you're feeding this five axis. That means you're being able to machine on five sides of the part. Is that is that how it works? Quite often we can machine five sides of the parts, depending on the part that uh, we're making, because some of the parts are quite intricate. Some of, this is a 40-tool machine, 
but some parts we make require 60, 70, 80 tools to make. So sometimes we can do five sides, other times when they can do three sides because of tool restrictions. But even at, even at that, it's still a huge advantage to have a, the five axis, to be able to do three sides, you know you have that done, and all you have to do then is flip it around and you do, do the other sides. What's the payload of this robot? How, what, what weight can you get on it? This is a 60 k kilo robot. Um, our, our biggest um, block now that we'll be using here would be about 28 kilos. Right, on this machine, you're yeah. machining on this machine. Yeah. So you, you, are you machining harder materials on the, uh, as part of this production? Uh, no, we machine a range of materials um, from cast iron, aluminium, steels. Uh, we uh, would machine any material really that that, that customer requires. And, and outside of the robots and the automation, uh, machines are integral part, main part. Um, why Leadwell, Jim? Um, Leadwell, the machine is the perfect, perfect size machine for us. Price is right. The backup service I get from uh, Leadwell in the UK is excellent. Steve Nelson is the technical guy there and he's brilliant. Just ring him up and he sorts your problem for you there and then. And um, they're, they're a very um, good company to deal with. I like them actually. They're a good company to deal with. And, and these aren't the only two lead wells you've got though, important to mention. There's, there's, there's others around in the machine shop as well. well the, we have six at the moment. We have four V40 ITs, slightly bigger than the V20s. And uh, these are our last two we have got now. And uh, our hope is that we'll have a few more very soon.